so it's been another six months or so, and we're uh, coming to the point where we release a new fedora upon the world, and uh, we have a lot of new cool features in Fedora 13. One of them uh, that I'm really interested in and that I think a lot of users are going to find uh, uh, very useful is the automatic print driver installation, right? And that actually leverages some work we've done previously. Yeah, um, basically Richard Hughes, the maintainer of Package Kit, and Tim Waugh, the maintainer of our print drivers and print configuration tools, they essentially combine the two so that whenever you plug in a printer, whether it's via USB, parallel, or whatever, it will scan that printer for the device identifier, it will look for the driver, and if you don't already have it installed, it will go through Package Kit and install it from the repository, so it'll just automatically work. I tried out one of his other creations, which is the color management tool. Um, which is part of the, the GNOME uh, stack now. Uh, Richard's worked uh, on that feature through the upstream, which is where we always like to do our work. Uh, and that color manager allows you to adjust your monitor, your cameras, your scanners, your printers, so that the color of the things that you're capturing, displaying, printing, are all going to look correct right so that you can have a true color workflow from beginning to end and so the vendor will provide your your monitor information or your scanner information and you can import it into this tool to configure your system um, and Richard actually worked with Mo Duffy our design lead in some of the testing and implementation of it so she could use this with her tools another feature that I know we have is uh, the ButterFS rollbacks right and ButterFS is can you describe that a little bit well, the idea is that uh, ButterFS is a new next generation file system. And what it does is that every time you go to update the system, it will create a snapshot of your file system. So it's basically your system as of that state. And so the idea is that later, if something went wrong with your update, or if you just didn't like it, you can then boot into an earlier snapshot. So it'll just go back to the way the system was before. We're working on the basically the low-level underpinnings of it now, and we're going to flush it out with UI and later releases. I think another big story is our Python story, right? And we want to talk a little bit about Python. Well, I mean that right now we include the current stable release of Python, which is Python 2.6. What we've also been doing through the work of Dave Malcolm and Toshia Kuratomi is including the next release of next major release of Python, which is Python 3. So they've been doing a lot of work to get Python 3 packaged available in a way that developers can use it in their new code, they can port code to it, they can build their modules for it as well as Python 2 so that they can work on a seamless migration to the newer Python later. Really, it's part of how open source works and that you start out by scratching your own itch and since we use python in all our tools and all our infrastructure we're making it better for us while also making it available for the world at large so they can use it there's a theme of constant innovation in fedora well in fedora 13 we carry that even further right uh, a huge breakthrough was made on the in the nouveau driver which is the free um the free implementation of uh video for and video cards. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's just a process of continual improvement. So we start with first the Intel driver. So we get the Intel driver in. We get the Intel driver in the new kernel mode setting framework. So you get automatic graphics setup. So we started with Intel. Then we moved to ATI with the work of Dave Airely, um, Jerome Glisse, and the other Radeon developers. So we move into getting support for that in the automatic setup and that for 3D support. Then we move to NVIDIA. So with the help of Ben Skeggs and the other Nouveau drivers, we have that with automatic mode setup. We have that with accelerated 3D support. So it's just a matter of continually improving, continually getting all the features new into free graphics drivers. For the longest time in Linux, graphics drivers were a huge problem. So now what we've been working is to do a complete free graphics stack from the bottom up so that you can get support for all the major manufacturers card through completely free and open drivers. I think people have looked to Fedora for a long time uh, to see you know, what the latest and greatest was, right? They want to see that integrated and they want to see it in a, in a usable uh, form. And I think that we're, we're pretty well known for doing that and also um, doing it in a, in a truly free way, right? That we really embrace the con not just the concept of free software, but the practice of free software. 
right? Because everything that we're building and everything that we're we're working on in Fedora, all the services that we offer, um, the hosting that we do, um, all of these pieces of our project are all built on the same free software that we offer other people, right? Yeah. There's no proprietary bits. There's no uh, you know business enablers locked up in the back closet. It's all out there for people to try out and use, and, and you can poke into any piece of our of our project or our code base and uh, and see what we're working on. And hopefully people will visit get.fedoraproject.org and try out the new release, Fedora 13, and, uh, and, and enjoy it. Mm -hmm.